Hello, my name is Jez Sugars from Olympus UK, and today I'm going to walk you through our superb Pro Prime lenses. So I've come down to the Bishop's Gardens in Chichester to test out these three prime lenses. Uh, I'm using my son as a model and uh, we have a lovely cathedral in the background and this is going to be a perfect example of depth of field. So we're going to shoot this one, like I said, with the 17mm, the 45 and the 25 and that's going to give you an idea of the different aesthetic relationships between these lenses. So the first lens I'm going to shoot with will be the 17mm. I'm going to do four shots using each lens at different apertures. I'm going to use 1.2, 2.8, 5.6 and f11. So we're really going to be able to see the different aesthetic differences of the shots. So at f11 you're looking at about 50th of a second and as you can see we've got the spire completely in focus, the models in focus and all of the plant life is in focus too. We then drop to 5.6, we start to see a bit of softening in the background and the shutter speed shoots up to 200th of a second. At 2.8 you're really starting to see the background fall away now and again we've now got a shutter speed at 800th of a second. But at that lovely 1.2 this is where I'm able to isolate the subject completely from the background including the spire and the flowers. And you're looking now at a shutter speed of 4,000th of a second. When we move to your 25mm, your nifty 50, and at f11, again, we're getting a lovely crisp picture of everything from the model all the way to the spire completely in focus. And again, it's a similar type of shutter speeds. As we drop to 5.6, my shutter speed has increased. And as you can see, the background is starting to fall away. And then at 2.8, we're really starting to lose the spire. And again, my shutter speed has gone up to 600th of a second. And at that lovely 1.2, we're starting to get a really nice isolation of the model. And the spire is pretty much disappearing out of the shot. Now at the 45mm end, which is an old 90mm end, at f11, we've got the model completely pin sharp and most of the background is pretty sharp considering the focal length and this is shooting at about 30th of a second. The cloud covers come over a little bit so it's changed the exposure slightly. And then at 5.6 you can see quite a drastic difference where the, uh, the spire is starting to disappear and the shutter speed is lifted to 1 25th. You've then got your standard 2.8 where it's starting to blur even more and then you've got that beautiful 1.2 and as you can see the subject completely pops away from the background and we've got a lovely painterly finish to the background and our shutter speed now is a really large 2500th of a second. To test these lovely 1.2s in low light, I headed into the cathedral with my 17mm on. And I decided to shoot five shots instead of four because I'd like to be able to contrast a 1.2 to a 1.8 for you. So at 1.2, I had to have an ISO of 1600 ISO and I was getting a hundredth of a second. And as you can see, the flame is lovely and isolated from the background. And as I go to 1.8, you can see that the windows and the bokker effect is starting to shift more into focus. As I push it to 2.8, the background is certainly starting to come back in and we've dropped down to 15th of a second. At 5.6, we're getting more clarity available in the background and at F11, which was a whole second handheld, which is no problem due to our wonderful in-camera stabilization, you can see I'm able to achieve pretty much focus from the foreground right into the background. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you soon.